Hi, Dr. Ariane from The Movement Paradigm. Our livers can become deeply affected by stress and inflammation and the toxins that we're surrounded by, also alcohol and other pollutants in the environment. And there is a deep connection to the brain. So we're gonna dive into that today. Now in traditional Chinese medicine, the liver is responsible for all of the other organs and is also responsible for moving qi throughout the body, or i.e. energy. It also stores blood and other essential bodily fluids, and it helps to cleanse the blood as well, especially while we sleep. Even from a spiritual perspective in traditional Chinese medicine, it is really the seat of the soul and can help provide our life purpose. So in essence, the liver is one of our most powerful organs. It's also one of our most powerful detoxification organs. But unfortunately, in modern society, we are eating inflammatory foods, we are drinking a lot of alcohol, we are exposed to an absorbent amount of toxins, internal and external toxins. And so because of that, our livers can become deeply affected. This has a direct connection to the central nervous system, which is also connected via the autonomic nervous system, i.e. the vagus nerve. So the vagus nerve is innervating the liver with the hepatic branch. And what's interesting, as I always talk about with all my Vegas nerve videos, so please make sure to check out some of those other hacks for you. That's 80% of the information from the Vegas nerve is actually going to the brain. So that means that what we are doing to our livers while we are putting in our body and how hard we're making our liver work, even though it is one of the most amazing detoxification organs and that's what it's designed to do, it could still be stressed. And because of that, that can influence our brain that can contribute to any potential symptom, especially as it relates to neuroinflammation. So we wanna think about and appreciate this deep connection between the liver and the brain, because also the brain can affect the liver. So via the vagus nerve, that hepatic branch, we have 20% of information going to the liver. And so because of that, we also wanna respect that what we're thinking and what we're doing and our beliefs and our emotions all of those things can influence our liver health as well. So whether we're looking at this from a traditional Chinese medicine or Western medicine standpoint, we really wanna respect this deep connection and recognize that what we eat and put in our body and the stresses that we put on our body are all going to affect the relationship of the liver and the brain. So hopefully this was helpful for you in just understanding these uh, deep and fascinating connections in the body. If so, please give it a like, give it a share, make sure to tag a friend who needs this and subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Movement Paradigm, for weekly tips on mindset, nutrition, and movement.